appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Enrique Acevedo is an anchor at Univision, and he joins us tonight. Enrique, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tucker. So uh, you all have a reporter embedded in this caravan, is that correct? Yes, no offense, but we like to report on the news from the field instead of a studio or behind the news desk uh, in Washington or in Miami <laughs> quite, or New quite, York. Quite intrepid of you, Enrique. So that's kind of getting to my question, which is, of all the things happening in this country, and there are a lot, why this little caravan? Why is this at the center of your news coverage? Why, why do you think it, it merits an Im embedded reporter? You know, we never covered the caravan before. It happens almost every year. We did this year after President Trump wrote a series of tweets about it, and it became a national news story. And we wanted to see what was happening firsthand. That's why we sent a correspondent, and that's why he's been following that caravan for weeks now. Interesting. Now, during the course of your coverage, did your correspondent ever ask people in the caravan the obvious question, which is, if you're fleeing Honduras because you're afraid to live there and you're searching for asylum, you're in Mexico, which is a pretty safe country, I would assume. Uh, why wouldn't you ask for asylum in Mexico? Uh, you are a very intelligent man, Tucker, and I just heard Director Homan said Mexico is a safe country. And now that I'm hearing you repeat that, it's concerning. Mexico had the most violent year in decades. In 2017, oh. more than 26,000 murders. I wouldn't call that a safe country. Ah. If they're actually fleeing uh, well, violence, thank you for Mexico agreeing with be me, because of course I've worst, been, the, I've been making worst, that point the worst, for the last year. Could go to. Right. So if it's such a dangerous country filled with so many violent people, why would we let any of them into our country? I mean, we have millions of Mexican citizens living in America right now. If you're right up against a country that's totally out of control, as people are shooting each other in the numbers you just described, right. why wouldn't you be terrified to let them in? Well, I think you're not getting the criminals. You're getting the best of Mexico, the people who are oh. willing to work two or three shifts a day, the people who are law-abiding citizens and are that? proactive enough to try to provide a better future for their family, the people who are fleeing that violence. That's what you're getting, not rapists and criminals uh, but, like but, uh, President but, but we Trump don't, suggested. But we don't know that, of course, because we have more no, than we do. 10... No, no, actually we don't, because we well, don't know According to the data, you've seen the data, they're less prone to commit no, crimes they, than we, native They're actually, citizens. hold on, there are no data because we don't allow, thanks to advocacy from people like you, the question of citizenship to be asked in the census forms. And we don't actually know the identities of the more than 10 million people here illegally because they're using fake documents. So we really don't know anything about them, as you know. There's no national survey of illegals. So well, why shouldn't we be worried about that? You shouldn't be worried because statistics say, and it's very clear, that immigrants are less likely to commit crimes than native-born citizens. That's, that's a fact. And the overwhelming majority, I don't know why we have to keep debating this, it's a fact. The overwhelming majority of immigrants in this country are law-abiding, hardworking people. Oh, no, no, but, I, but, but we're not debating that. And I've, I've never disagreed with that. I think immigrants are great, actually. I, I like immigrants, Mexican immigrants, Honduran immigrants, all immigrants. I just think that if you have a an incredibly violent, one of the most violent countries in the world, a poor country yes. with remarkably low education levels. Well, it's and not you a poor decide, country. It's on, one of the 10 largest economies gonna, in the world. We're going to let in every poor person from this undeveloped, violent, badly educated country into our country. It's hard to see why you would do that and expect that you're going to profit from it. And we haven't. That's well, just, this that's is the, the thing. Mexico question. is one of the 10 largest economies in the world, so it's not a poor country or an underdeveloped country. Uh, then why are people say, leaving? Why are millions of people leaving if it's... Wait, it, wait so you're saying because, it's violent because, and poor, that's what people are coming, right. but it's not violent and poor. It's great. Talker, I wasn't saying it wasn't violent. It is violent. It had 20, over 26,000 murders last year. It's not poor. It's one of the 10 largest economies in the world. People are coming over here because, you know, behind that 700-mile wall that it's already built, there's a big sign that says, help wanted. And entire industries here in the U.S. depend on that cheap labor. So as long as there's, and you know this about supply and demand, as long as there's a demand for these jobs, people are going to come to this country. But, but, no, Tyson's Chicken is not actually in charge of America. We have a government. Citizens oh. elect legislators to pass laws, and we've done that. They get to decide. Big employers don't get to make our policies American citizens do. It's one of the things that's different between the U.S. and Mexico. This is a democracy. 
and our laws say they're not allowed to be here. And you're arguing that our laws are worthless and the opinions of American citizens don't mean anything. That's what you're arguing. And you can see why we'd present that, can't you? I wouldn't argue that, that you know, laws are not necessary or that rule of law is not a fundamental part of our democracy. Of course it is. I wouldn't argue that Mexico is not a democracy either. Actually, they're going to have an election in two months to choose their next president. So that's, you know, part of being a democracy. What I would say is that we have to, you know, in order to move uh, forward with a real comprehensive solution, we have to tell the truth to the American people. Uh, a weak, unprotected border is not the reason why these people are coming to, to the U.S. The reason why they're coming to the U.S. is because help is wanted. The economy depends on these jobs. Many industries, the construction, no, that, the service industries, true. they depend on, on, no, on cheap hold, labor. So what, and so, what you're, so what you're saying is the will of big companies is more important than the will of American citizens who would like to control who comes here. They don't think it should be up to employers, chicken plants who comes here, Walmart who comes here. They think they should have a say. And they've passed laws that say they don't want it. Why I'm 100% behind you on that. I think we should right. listen to the will of the American people, and the vast majority of the American people are in favor of comprehensive immigration reform. They're in favor of passing <laughs> solutions in Congress that help the dreamers. They're in favor of not building a wall. So, yeah, let's listen to the majority you of the guys American are people. You slick over I'm Univision, I have to say. We have laws on the books, extant laws, in force, that say no one can come here without authorization from the federal government, period. We have... I don't know, 15 million, take, pick a number, between 10 and 15 million people here illegally, and you think that's cool, and you say you're for the rule of law. <laughs> no, you know what, Tucker, I think, and this might surprise you, undocumented immigration is not a desirable outcome for any of the parties involved. These people, they don't want to leave their homes. They don't want to leave behind their families, the places where they were born. I'm sure a lot of people here in the States are asking, yeah. why do we have to take them in? The reality is that we agree that undocumented immigration is not a desirable outcome. How we fix that is where we're not on the same page. Right. Okay. Enrique, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for coming on. I don't think you've ever been Thanks on. It's nice me. to have you. Thank you. Well, the New York Times reporter assigned to Hillary Clinton has a new book out with a portrait of the Clintons that she developed over 10 years of covering them.